We don't really know what to expect. Wow! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Happy Diwali! Absolutely, I've never seen anything like this before, ever. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, a married couple from the UK, and after just a couple of weeks in India, we've been invited to spend Diwali inside an Indian family's home in Pune. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity for us, and we can't wait to bring you along with us, as we have no idea what to expect. Welcome back to the channel. We are still in Pune in Western India. We were actually going to be leaving right now, but we got an invitation that we just couldn't refuse. Uh, if you watched the last episode, you would have seen us going on a really awesome day out uh, and adventure into Pune where we ate and saw some incredible things. Well, the local woman, our friend Purva, um, who took us on that trip, uh, has invited us round to her family's home for Diwali, which is today. Well, it's a five day festival, but this is like the main day. So we're out on a bit of a limb here. Uh, we were gonna be moving on. We don't really know what to expect or how to behave or what, what we're supposed to do. So we're gonna go out for lunch now into Pune uh, on Diwali and try and work out uh, how we're gonna navigate today and we're gonna bring you along with us. It should be a lot of fun. Here we go. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. Are you ready for it? I'm so ready for today. It's gonna be awesome. Actually, this morning was just crazy because it was pitch black outside it was dead silent and all of a sudden this massive firecracker goes off and completely makes me jump out of my skin and then silence for the rest of the morning um, so yeah it's going to be interesting anyway it's going to be fun feeling grateful to be in india on this prestigious day but not knowing what to expect we hit the streets on the main day of diwali to scope out what is happening okay cool we are heading now to one of our favourite restaurants. Since we've been here for a few days now, we've actually got a favourite restaurant and it is so, so good. The food is amazing. So we're going to see if we can get a seat on Diwali in our favourite restaurant. Happy Diwali. From which country you are? England. Wow, I love that country. <laughs> wow. Where, where till you have learned, uh, studied? Uh, study, we studied in England and now we're travelling India. Wow. Yeah, and your English is so good. Yes. No, I didn't come uh, so much because uh, here we don't speak which is Marathi only that's why we didn't came English but uh, I wanted to speak with you and I have seen you there also oh you've already seen us uh, yes I wanted to talk with you but I have not get it I'm uh, um, your name uh, Pratamesh what's your name Prata Mesh Pratamesh what is your name my name is Liam and this is Janine wow bro I like this here <laughs> bye uh, bye so nice bye. to see you yes. thank bye. you to you bye, bye. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh wow, what, what a lovely lad. <laughs> I'm from England. Hi, I'm Hi. from India. You're from India? Yes. And you're from India? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Happy Diwali. Happy Diwali. This is Abhishek and we're so fortunate for it to be around the corner from our guest house. It is definitely one of the best uh, pure veg, they call them hotels, restaurants, uh, that we've had in India so far. So good. Come and, come and see the food. This is the owner, what's your name? Baritosh. Baritosh? Yeah. Baritosh, he's the owner and uh, he's got like, we're saying it's like the best uh, pure veg food we've had in India. So. Yeah, no, I'm so, I'm so honoured to host you guys. Thank you. It's been an honour. Thank you, so I hope that you eat spicy food, it's so unusual. I hope that you eat spicy food, it's so unusual. <laughs> we love the spicy food, mate. Grabbing our badge of honour, we ordered our spicy food. We're getting an idli vada, but this is different because it doesn't come on a plate, the dry idli, uh, where you pour the sauce on top. It comes out completely different, and I'm going to show you. It's so good. Oh my god, we're getting quite a big crowd around us because we're filming. <laughs> and uh, the kids followed us in as well, so attracting quite a lot of attention. <laughs> Okay. If you have to put in your tea, uh, uh, tea uh, food, huh? then we will uh, have to take the tea. Uh, okay, cool. That sounds good. Yes, we are very excited to the first time we have seen that. You do Oh, really? So this is Idli Vada in a bowl 
and it actually looks like a donut soup. Um, it's got like this butter on top and Italy underneath and oh my god, it's incredible. This is what's called a soya basket and it's um, the first time we've ever seen it in India and it's like chunks of soya, so almost like a meat alternative but natural. And, um, and it's a really chunky, spicy curry with full of green chilies. It's so good. I've had it once before. It's so nice. I can't wait to eat it again. I'm really going to top it off. Might top the Diwali off for lunchtime. Mm. Honestly, one of the best curries I've had in India by a mile. So, so good. So randomly, they live a long way away. Well, they live probably about half an hour's drive away. That's the family that we're going to see <laughs> have Diwali with tonight. Out of all of the pure veg restaurants in Pune, which there are many, they've come here. So nice to see them on Diwali anyway. We're gonna see them later on. Before we do that, we have to leave here, get a few bits, including we have to sort out what we're wearing as well, which is a big deal, Janine, right? Yes. It's a big, big deal. So that's the next challenge, I think. Gonna go and see the children now. They've been waiting outside all this time. They've come in once more to try and get us. <laughs> but we're gonna head out now and go and see them. One, two, three. Okay, so now we are off to the children's house uh, to go and see their family. They insisted we must go and uh, it was on the way home anyway, so I'm going to pop in and say hello to um, the entire family, I think. Nice to see you. Happy Diwali. 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 Hello. Are you saying that, are you, do, yeah. she's saying that uh, do you eat uh, the sweets that will be very nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is a special of food of Diwali. Uh, the only thing is we have the, the we can't eat ghee. No ghee. No ghee. Yeah, the problem is ghee. Black tea also and... The, okay, black tea. We're going to go for a black tea, yeah? Black tea. Black tea, yeah. Black tea would be lovely. Thank you. Sit, sit, sit. We entered the children's family home, welcomed by the parents also, but the hosts today were the very friendly children who spoke great English. After offering us refreshments, we sat down in the lounge surrounded by children of all ages and the grandmother came too. Although we couldn't speak the same language, we both understood the sentiment of what was being said. Hello, happy Diwali. They're asking for an autograph. His name is Shubham and his name is Sal. I've never done an autograph. That's my autograph, huh? They want it on their hands. Oh, you want it on your hands? Yes. Okay. Can you... uh, this is a diva we call it in Marathi. <laughs> we just put here oil and we have to take cotton line and keep it here over here and uh, just we have to burn it. It will be give light over the we have to put it in outside the door, it will be give light. Very wow. good. It is so small gift for us. So it's like an oil lamp. Yes. Oil lamp. <laughs> They've asked us to go and pray to their family god. So I think this is quite a bit of an honor. It is our Indian origin. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you so much. Yeah. It was time to leave, so we said our goodbyes to these very welcoming children who wanted to give us one last treat of setting off some firecrackers in a bottle of water. I'm not quite sure if it was a failed attempt, but we were running out of time, so we never found out. Okay, so now, after all of that craziness, we need to go and get some clothes to wear for tonight. Like, we, we're, we're assuming, or the best thing to do is to wear some sort of tra traditional Indian wear. So we're gonna go off to a place called, we've been recommending a place called Fab India, and that's where we're going now to go and try and get some Indian yeah. clothes for tonight. Thank you so much. Cheers. The manage, managers won't go. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very good of you. We'll see you shortly. Yes. See you soon. Thank you.
Okay, so I found a sari that I like, um, and the ladies are gonna help me put it on because I have no idea how to put it on. Then I'm gonna keep it on and just leave the shop. <laughs> um, and pay for it. Pay for it and leave the <laughs> shop. <laughs> I'm not just gonna run off. And uh, yeah, so this is my way of getting um, help putting on a sari. <laughs> Whilst Janine's getting proper stitched up in there by the ladies who are really doing a good job showing her how to uh, sort the sari out. I think they're going to dress Janine and Janine's going to stay dressed now until we go out, which isn't too far away now because the days just flown by. Um, but I'm going to, I found like this kurta, kurta, am I saying it right? Um, and yeah, I think it looks quite nice and uh, I'm making an effort. So I'm going to wear this, it's like traditional bloke's dress. What do you think of the colour? Ah, oh, it really suits you. Yeah? Yeah, it really suits you. Yeah. I really like it. And pink is my favourite colour. So. <laughs> thank you everyone for helping. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so you've seen me in a pink jacket. Now, I'm wearing a pink sari. Um, I actually really like it, but I wouldn't have been able to put this on myself, no way. Feeling glammed up and ready for Diwali, we headed off to grab some boxes of sweets to give as gifts. We went back to our guest house to finish getting ready. Weirdly, we noticed that the streets were fairly calm and there were not as many people outside as we would have expected for this celebration. Maybe people are celebrating at home, ready to come out this evening. This is why we are so excited to see what really happens at Diwali inside people's homes. Looking good, Liam. Thank you. <laughs> Thought I'd get a, uh, a kurta for the occasion. I did pick up a red one. I thought I'd go red this time, but um, Janine said it won't match her sari, so I'm wearing blue again. Oh, it looks really nice. Uh, but I'm not wearing my hat and uh, making an effort. But I'm only, I am wearing shorts. But I thought it's hot. I can't. You know, I can't, I can't wear trousers in the seat. I can't do it. No. So this is my compromise. We hopped in a cab and headed to Porva's family home. Porva is a friend who we met in Pondicherry on New Year's Eve. And more recently, she gave us an incredible tour of Pune City. Her family kindly invited us to spend Diwali with them, which we feel is such an honor. En route, we noticed people carrying sugar canes, which we later found out is a tradition at Diwali and of the area, as it's a sugar manufacturing part of the country. Having no idea what to expect, we met Porva, who was looking absolutely stunning in her sari. We firstly headed off to see the toy fort that had been made by the children in the local area. Making forts is another Maharashtra Diwali tradition. As there's many forts in the state, the kids seem to make it a competition to see who can build the biggest. After, we headed off to Porva's apartment. Hello. <laughs> oh, amazing. Rangui. Rangui. That's so Love pretty. Oh, and that one as well. Namaste. Happy Diwali. Amazing. Oh, I'm going to wreck it. Hello, happy Diwali. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. How nice it is in here. It's so cozy. It's beautiful in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Cool, have a seat. Porva's family apartment was absolutely gorgeous with an amazing balcony area overlooking Pune. The apartment felt very calming, reflecting the characters of this wonderful family we are about to spend the evening with. After meeting the family and Porva putting a jasmine garland in my hair, they offered us some Diwali snacks. Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. <laughs> I have to take your word for that because it's at the back of my head. You'll smell it though, see? <laughs> Making some tea, we have soya milk. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. You've got two crazy vegans around your house. <laughs> First time we've had soya milk inside a home. Oh, that's such a lovely cup of tea. <laughs> it's really nice. It's the um, traditional thing you have at this time of year in Fadoalu. Yes, one of the Diwali snacks for these. Oh, thank you so much. Made up of flattened rice. Poha. Oh, it's like poha. Yeah. Oh. oh, nice. So this is poha chivda. Chivda. Yeah, chivda. Chivda. Which is like C H I V D A. Yeah, yeah. chivda. Flattened rice, but the poha that we had the other day, but in a dry form with like nuts and stuff. Yes. Coconut, yeah. Yeah. Coconuts, yeah. coconuts and. Coconuts and the, yeah, and you just sort of like scoop it up and put it on your hand and eat it. Yes. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Thank you so much. You did with the spoon, no issues. Eat it with a spoon? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's fine. Mmm. Mmm. 
It's like a, a Diwali snack. Yep. Yes. Yeah. And they made us a uh, a soya masala chai, which is incredible. It was the first time we've been offered a soya masala chai in anyone's yeah. home. And um, one thing we've noticed in India is they have salty food with tea. <laughs> yeah. Which is like something that we just don't do in, in England at all, no. but it's, it really works. <laughs> it really, really, especially when it's hot outside. Yeah. Mm. What a combination. You've got to try some, Janine. Yeah, I will. Yeah. That's actually homemade. Mm. It's, that's homemade, is it? Homemade. Yeah. Wow. Really? Wow, it's incredible. <laughs> it's so tasty. It's delicious. Oh. I don't know why I'd thought like it'd be in a packet or something. You just, but no, that's incredible. <laughs> That is so good. As we were eating our salty snacks and soya masala chai, Porva's sister, Pooja, was carrying some candles to the front door. Curiosity took over us and we went to see what she was doing. <laughs> so part of their tra tradition is putting candles on the rangolis um, <laughs> outside. I'll show you because I can't explain it very well. So yeah, they're ready to start puja and we're going to join in, which is really cool. It's actually incredible that they've invited us to do this. There is puja of Mahalakshmi, goddess of Lakshmi. prosperity. Okay. We call it Shubha Murta. Happy, yes. happy Murta. And Shubha yeah, means auspicious, uh, auspicious time. Auspicious time. Oh, auspicious time. Ah, oh, Shubha is okay. Can you explain? This is this is a puja at a specific time in the in the day for the world. Puja is a worship ritual performed by Hindus to offer devotional prayer and homage to certain gods and deities. And this specific puja is done every year at 7.30 on Diwali, which means right now, all over India, millions of people will be sat in this very fashion doing just this. Well, not every Indian, as there are still huge amounts of fireworks going off whilst Porva's mum and sister were chanting Sanskrit. Sanskrit being one of the oldest languages in the world, and the family explained that we are being bathed in vibrations from the words. And for us, it felt very calming and peaceful. We sat for half an hour going through various rituals for Ganesh, Saraswati and Lakshmi, and we enjoyed every minute of it. We can't allude to understand everything that was being done, but it felt very special, and not once did we feel like strangers, but actually part of the family. Chandram Prabha Sam Yashasa Jalantim Shyam Loke Deva Jushta Mudaram Tam Padmini Mim Sharanam Aham Prabhade Alakshmir Me Nashatam Tvam Rune Aditya Varne Tapasodhi Jato Manaspati Stava Brukshodha Vilvaha Tasya Palani Tapasanu Dantum Wow, what an experience that was. That was uh, our first home puja. Our first home puja. It was amazing. Thank you for, for Diwali. And uh, now apparently it's time for firecrackers. That's Pune. Look at the fireworks. Oh my god, it's like a war started here. All of a sudden, in the last five minutes, it's just gone crazy everywhere, in every direction. It's just fireworks, literally, all over the city, inside the buildings, outside the buildings. It's so cool. <laughs> Stay for that. 
ricocheting off trees and cars everywhere. This chaos. It is absolute. I've never seen anything like this before, ever. You know, you know, like back home, we have the sparklers that we use. That's what they use to light the fireworks here. Yeah, I know. They're not like their own source of entertainment. They're the things that light the fireworks. There's no, there is just no order to it at all. It's just chaos. <laughs> That's one of those ones, you're going to put it on the floor. That's the worst you, one. Do you want to light one? You're going to put it on the floor and then light the end there. Then light the, I don't know if I want to do it. Okay, I'm a bit scared. Oh yeah, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll get you a sparkler. I'm not going to do it. I'll only catch my sari on fire. Oh, oh my God. Go on, That was just crazy. We're just saying how peaceful it is in this lift. <laughs> but imagine if one went off in this lift, it yeah. would just be it would just be awful. Carnage. But yeah, that's quite um you get used to it actually after a while, don't you? Yeah. It's quite weird. Such extreme noise. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. After the craziness of the fireworks, we watched as Porva set up the gorgeous placemats and decorations on the floor for dinner and enjoyed a wonderful meal cooked by Porva's mum with a little help from Porva and Pooja. The food blew our minds with a huge range of different flavours, spices and textures. And they even veganised a classic Pune dish of sweet ponopori dipped into soya milk. It was incredible. We just ate the most incredible meal, honestly, that I think I've ever eaten. Not just in India, but ever. It was absolutely divine. So many different things that I can't even pronounce or tell you what they're called. But it was just delicious. And I'm so full right now and so Janine. So full. <laughs> it was amazing though. Really excellent food. <laughs> and this is the chef. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. It was absolutely thank you. delicious. And thank you, thank you all. Thank, yeah. thank you. To help us with the digestion of one of the most magnificent meals we have ever had, Ovi played us some tunes on our keyboard. And then before booking a taxi home, the family presented us with some gifts. Liam got some Diwali candles and I got a really trendy handbag. We couldn't believe it, after all we had been treated to this evening. As our taxi arrived, we had to say goodbye, and it was at this time past 11pm, we drove home and reflected on what may be a once in a lifetime opportunity to celebrate Diwali inside a local friend's home. Oh, good morning and welcome back to Pune. Wow, yesterday was amazing. Our hearts are so flipping full to be invited. I know we've been going on about it, but honestly, it feels so special to be invited around into a family's home for such a big festival of the year, perhaps the biggest festival on the Hindu calendar. And uh, being British ourselves, our biggest festival on our calendar is Christmas. Uh, which is fast approaching and you know culturally I think the reason why I find it like quite a little bit strange even um, that we got invited to someone's home is because culturally we, we, we only have family round um, for Christmas and we don't we definitely don't invite strangers off the streets we've only met Horva twice now when she came out to meet us had already had the invite in her back pocket basically metaphorically from her mum to invite us out so it feels really, really strange, like, for British people. But maybe that's the whole point of festivals, you know? Maybe that's what's lost with festivals and, like, Christmas and stuff. Maybe the whole point is you share what you have. And it's not just about sharing it with the people that you love and the people that you're closest with. I don't know. All these things really, really change the way that I think and the way that I navigate through life. And I'm very, very grateful for that. That's travelling for you. And that's travelling to India for you. I hope you liked this opportunity to have a look inside um, some local Indian people's home at Diwali. We certainly did. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, please. And uh, subscribe. And we're about now to head off to something that makes India world famous. It's all magical, it's all mystical still. Uh, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're 
looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is 